What's happening ladies and gentlemen, this is Min from Architecture Inspirations. Today I'm going to show you an extension called Component Finder, which makes it really easy to view and import components in SketchUp. Let's get started. To get this plugin, you will need to go to this link here. Then scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Get Free. You will see this window here. Now just type in zero for the price and click here. Next, you will need to enter your email and your name to get the extension. Then you will see a receipt with the license key and the download button. I will first click here to download. Once that's done, you can install the plugin. Just go to SketchUp, go to Windows, Extension Manager, and click on Install Extension. Then load that file that we just downloaded. To activate the extension, click this icon here to open up the Flex Tool Manager. For the license key, go back to the receipt and copy that key. Then paste it here and click activate. There you go. Now you can start using the extension. Now I will click here to start the component finder. Then I'll click this button or click here to add a folder. I have a library of 3D models on my computer, so I will just locate that and select that folder. When it's loaded, I will see my library of components like so. There we go. Now we can start browsing through the components. This right here is called a flat view, which only shows components. But you can also click here to change to navigation view to make it easier to search through folders. The search function is super useful to quickly search for a specific component. You can also zoom in and out using these icons here. Or resize this window however you like. When I find a component I like, I can just click on it, then place it in my scene. Pretty cool, huh? Also, I can add another folder with this button here. If I hold down Ctrl or Shift and click, I can choose multiple ones as well. When added, they will appear as different tabs like so. To make it easier to see all the available tabs, click here to minimize a tab. These arrows also help arrange the tabs by moving them up and down like so. If you don't need one of these tabs anymore, click here to close it out. And you can click here again to maximize the tab. This button here is to open up the original folder in Windows Explorer. Now let's say I want to save one of these chairs as a new component on my computer. I can select it, then go up here and click on this button. But as you can see, it won't let you. That's because it is a group. So you have to turn it into a component, then save it. But right now, I am saving it in the furniture folder. What I want to do is to save this chair in the same location as this group of chairs. So I can find that group on the list and right click it and select open containing folder in a new tab. Now if I scroll up, I can see that a new tab is open. So now I can click here and it will save this chair in the same location as the original component. There we go. You can see that the chair has been added to our folder. Right clicking will also let you rename the components like so. Now let's take a closer look at this model. You can see that one of the legs doesn't have any materials in it, so I can make the changes here. Then select this chair, and go to this component, right click, and select replace with selected instance. And that's how you can update a component. And that's how you can use the component finder extension to manage your 3D models in SketchUp. That's all for today guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment below if you have any suggestions. Stay inspired guys, and I'll see you next time.